so I did not plan on making a video today but I have 30 hours in Traverse City, Michigan which is one of my favorite layovers during the summer. Unfortunately it is winter. Um, it's about 45 degrees outside I think but there are so many cool restaurants and shops here that I'm going to attempt to walk down there. We're about a half a mile from everything. Um, I've done a lot of layovers here. Usually I'll go down to the food truck park and I'll go to this place called Peace, Love, and Little Donuts. It's actually not open today. And of course the food truck spot isn't open because it's winter. But there are some other restaurants that I've never even seen because I've always just went to the food truck place. The other thing I always do when I'm here is go to Cherry Republic and get like all things cherry because I love cherry. So they have really good cherry salsa, cherry syrup, cherry, regular cherries, candy cherries, just everything cherry you can imagine. So we're gonna hopefully do all that and see what else I can find along the way. So let's go. Does anybody else have issues wearing beanies to where like, if you move your head at all, it like weasels its way up? Like, I'm gonna try it, because obviously it'll keep me warmer, but it just, any movement, it just creeps up. I don't know what's wrong with me. that bad out here like temperature wise it feels really amazing but I want to get down there and I'm scared because I'm gonna slip I thought the path would be like clean and it's definitely not we'll see I might bust it gotta do it for the video you know go to but apparently they're closed on Mondays. It is not Monday. Really I don't know what day of the week it is. So unpopular opinion but I'm not a huge fan of barbecue. I think it's just from being in Texas where we have barbecue all the time but I could not pass up checking out this famous barbecue sundae. And of course, the Pitmaster mac and cheese. I'm usually not a fan of coleslaw, but it brought some freshness and lightness to such a heavy dish. It was so good. And of course I had to try their iconic cherry sangria. And the Pitmaster mac and cheese is probably one of the best mac and cheese dishes I've ever had at any restaurant. It was so cheesy, so delicious. I could go on and on about it. It was amazing. Something about eating out of this cup is so satisfying too. I don't know why, just the whole experience was awesome 10 10 recommend if you're ever in traverse city and you're a big mac and cheese lover like i am Amazing. <laughs> I ate way too much, way too fast, but that's okay. Now 
bought like a million different things I didn't need. And no trip is complete without Cherry Republic. My bag got bigger and heavier because I got sparkling cherry wine. I literally spend like $200 every time I'm here, which I haven't been here in like two years, so I guess that's not that bad. But it's always an expensive trip. But I got so much good stuff. On the way back, I had Taproot Cider House, which I've never been to before. And while I was there, I had the best cider I've ever had in my entire life. The Cidre de Tapacha, so amazing. I definitely need to look up where to get more of this. And I had two other samples of some other ciders, but nothing tops the pineapple cider. It gets real sus. <laughs> yeah, so in the summer, these are like really cool beaches. And there's our hotel. And out in front of our hotel, there's like chairs and beach area. It's really cool. Definitely recommend the trip up here. Traverse City. I just got back to the hotel. The walk actually wasn't that bad. It says it's 45 degrees. It definitely feels not 45 degrees. It feels a little warmer than that. Um, it did start sprinkling on me at the end, but whatever. I had a hood and all the layers. I had a lot of fun going downtown. I'm glad I went and didn't let the weather like deter me because it really was not bad at all. I spent way too much money per usual when I'm in Traverse City, but I wanted to show y'all everything I bought that I didn't need, that I got anyways, because I love it here so much. So this is what I got at the spice and tea merchant thing. So I actually bought one of these there a long time ago, and then I, it got wet somehow in my lunch bag and rusted, so I had to get rid of it, so I got a new one. Cherry Chews dog cookies. Puppy needed these. Chocolate cherry bomb, caffeinated tea, mole seasoning. And then also I got the black cherry hibiscus and this one's caffeine free. This one is highly caffeinated. I actually was torn between these two, so I just got them both. These are made by Shorties and these are Parmesan and black truffle. <laughs> My leftovers from the barbecue place. Liberty Sparkling Cherry Wine. It was on sale and the bottle is super cute. Amaretto Chocolate Covered Cherries because I'm obsessed with all things Amaretto. Cherry Sparkling Sparkling Wine. Zero calories. Spicy Barbecue Sauce. Cherry flavored. It doesn't really taste cherry. Um, it's just kind of has like a hint of sweet and it's delicious so yeah that is my traverse city haul this time till i get coffee tomorrow at the airport and i did damage per usual just here got my leftovers and my hot logic Ooh, it's gonna be good i'm gonna try to finish this and then go work out even though i really don't want to of course i wait till 8 p.m to come do cardio but I was like in a food coma after all that food so I had no energy um little workout room not too bad
They even have a real Peloton, which I've never used, but I'm tempted to just because. But I also hate doing the bicycle, so probably won't. Also fun fact, we have the Rodeo Run 10K in exactly 10 days. And I am not at all prepared. I have been running, but not like 10K running. Maybe like 20, 30 minutes, not a like hour and a half runs. So see how it go. It's the reason why I'm even working out this late when I have to be up at like 4 a.m. But after eating what I ate today, I have to work out if I don't want to be on the next episode of my 600 mile life. And my last stop in Traverse City, every time is at the Traverse City Airport gift shop where I get this cherry amaretto coffee. It's the only place I can find it. There's not even a website on there. And it's now $15 a bag, but it's so worth it.